Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect. In the previous episode, we incurred a bit more violence than we would have liked and indeed expected and we're still recovering from that. You can see we've got some repairing to do on the beds and on the toilets and such. We also went ahead and built some more of this cell block here, which is nowhere near finished, but hopefully we'll get that sorted this episode. The main problem is the amount of deaths in the facility. It's not like massive, it's not a high body count, but it is frequent and that's something that you could say is just as bad so we want to try and resolve that and we'll probably do that via the application of tasers and obviously a taser rollout in order to do that though we needed money which is why i picked up the tool cleanup and upon loading the game it pretty much completed it immediately you can see there look grant completion payment 66 seconds ago even though the game is paused so hmm at least we've got that going for us. Let's go over to probably, could go for cell block C. We've also got crackdown on drugs and inmate nutritional research. Ideally, you want to do that sooner rather than later. However, I think, um, ah, yeah, go on, we'll go for that one. We'll, we might as well. So serve a single low quantity, low variety meal for two days. We are going to change that up to instead be the other way around. So we're going to go for, actually, no, we will go for that one. We will go for that one. So it is a single low quantity low variety meal not non it, it, you do have to, you do have to run it exactly as it says there low and then we'll change the regime so we have an eat time uh, we'll probably get rid of that one there and we'll just say that one can be free time for a little bit there we go okay so we also managed to get let's say a bit more building done around here what I want to do is get the flooring put in because at the moment well as you can see most of these cells at the top there at least are completed but there's ones that we're still doing around here but we'll get the flooring in because I guess if you go over to the gangs here these are controlled by the gangs and normally you can't build in there but the flooring seems to be the exception to that one speaking of gangs we do have the three gang leaders red green and then blue two of those are legendary uh, there's a legendary one there legendary one over there and then finally this person who we don't know but we are going to guesstimate that they are legendary as well now there has been some discussion regarding that and specifically saying that we should make a supermax area and put these uh, prisoners elsewhere and that is some fighting and you know what I just don't really care about that free fire stop it there we go okay so uh, we, what we could do is make a separate area, it doesn't really matter where, but make a separate area and then have those gang leaders in that area protect behind some sort of security wall, similar to the protective custody. Couple of issues with that, firstly, we don't have anything designated to do all of that and it would be a bit of a hack to put it in. We could, and I did think about putting it here, so this is our death row area, or at least planned out death row. We could always change it so we have this as the soup max area, so one, two, three, four cells, common room, and then the, um, the kitchen. No, sorry, the canteen. And that probably would work. However, slight problem with that, it's quite small. Uh, and also, it's right next door to protective custody, which is probably not going to go well if someone then, well, sneaks around here, a legendary prisoner, and then we'd have to have an armed guard stationed around there permanently. It's just going to cause more problems than it's worth. So we're not going to do that. And also, from experience, I've noted that, well, firstly, it's not the leaders that tend to uh, do all of the ordering. It's the lieutenants. The, the, the leaders just recruit. Um, it's the lieutenants that give the orders. Uh, you can see it's all kicking off there what I'm going to do is click on that person end punishment and then the danger level will go down um, and also even though the lieutenants are giving orders and you say have the gang leaders in here they from experience tend to just simply ignore anything that you uh, order them to do so if you have them either in there behind a behind an area where you say they can't go they will just wander through it seems that the uh, gang leader stuff takes precedence and they just pretty much ignore everything that you order them to do which is very problematic as you might imagine anyway we do have obviously things like punishment going on over here in terms of the guards we do have five regular guards and we do have a 61 capacity now so i can get some more guards so one guard there one guard there and then one guard there excellent and we also have two snipers which should be in there and there but I'm gonna get a third one just because we do have the money and it means that they can hang around these two guard towers, which should be acceptable. So, we'll uh, put up to max speed and let the workers crack on to build all of this. I'm also going to go over to the right-hand side and dismantle that door, simply because I want to then use brick wall, and then I want a brick wall up like so, and then along there. And this will obviously have the standard doors in there, there, and then there, and then I'll brick up that section. This is because this is going to be, well, this room, we don't currently have a hard plan for it. I think I did mention that perhaps we would go for a mail room, but I haven't yet committed to that yet um, instead what we'll probably end up doing 
is have a mail room there and then a classroom. Well, definitely classroom there, but mail room, not entirely 100% on that one. What I am 100% on is that it's currently free time, and then for whatever reason, it's getting a little violent around here. I'm going to go, oh, there you go, immediately we could hear the uh, noise there, and it is kicking off. So you can see that there are several uh, gang members here. Let's see what colour they are, if they're any particular colour. It is no, no particular colour. We've got some uh, red gang members, a blue uh, leader here, as well as some green, and they are currently charging their way forward. Okay, let's just unpause it and see how far they get. They are charging down here and looks like they're doing a blitz out attempt. So what will happen is they will try to take out... Ooh, this is bad. They're going to try to climb over the wall. They are over the wall, but one of them has been shot. And that's something that I didn't anticipate. Um, you can see that we are trying to stop these prisoners here. And we are going to go... No, we're not going to go into free fire. I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible. You can see that it uh, looks like most of this is stopped. That is something there that I did not anticipate. So this is our standard fencing in and around the main sort of security block in the centre. And yes, uh, prisoners can now climb. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. So they can climb over this fence, which means they can get over and start taking out the sniper. Obviously, they took a lot of damage trying to get over there. The sniper did take a shot. One's unconscious, one's unconscious, lying on the top of the fence there. One's uh, put his hands up. So actually, it wasn't too much of a problem. However, if it was en masse... That would be a big problem. So we're going to have to try and um, do something about that. Anyway, I'm just going to go around here, try and find this gang leader. In fact, the best way is just to look at gangs, then we'll select them there, and we'll end the punishment, just so once again the danger level goes down, because you just can't punish them, it's just not happening. Anyway, over to classroom on the right-hand side here. Uh, we also do need to eventually get in the other... The other... Um, power block and such, but it's going to be a bit difficult at this stage. I'm just worried about... Well, I'm not really worried about the power, I'm worried about the violence in here. Anyway, so I'm going to put some chairs in and some school desks. We'll probably just run a row like so, and then like that, and... Ooh, cancel, right, like that, and... Would that work? One, two, three, four, five. So we need a total of 20, so... Five, ten, fifteen... Tell you what, what we'll do is fifteen... 20 and then have this little sort of gap in the middle because why not and that should do us there that will give us 20 school desks build a classroom that classroom will then be completed which means we can then do tiers of rollout okay so once oh there we go there's that dingling noise to say that that has technically been ordered not built so yes we do have enough as far as i can tell enough enough guards for the time being we are still receiving 10 prisoners although we're still again going for that challenge where we are only getting one originally it was one guard per 10 prisoners we've now reduced that to one of each guard per 10 prisoners and we're still trying to do that i'm not totally committed to the <laughs> to uh, committed to that if if it meant getting more guards or the prison burning down or being destroyed i'm going to go for get more guards but i'm still trying to stick to that challenge as much, much as possible um what i'm going to do is wait for them to crack on with the classroom there it looks like they're pretty much finished anywhere. Once I've done that, I will go ahead and get some, um, let's have a quick look in programs. Uh, we want to go for guard taser certification, currently not unlocked, so I'm going to have to roll that out, uh, go for a taser roll out there. And then what we'll do is get something ordered around here, and specifically, is it under floors and walls? No, it's not. Um, it'll be under here. Barbed wire. So what we want to do is place some, where have I just placed some barbed wire there? Are that guy's face? Hmm. Uh, not, a best, not the best pillow in the world, but you know, I've been in hotel were worse. So we're going to place some of the this barbed wire all the way across and it's imperative that we go up and around like so because otherwise there will be this little gap where they can sneak around and guard. Uh, the barbed wire is not cheap. It is going to be quite expensive to uh, build all the way around. In fact, if I, if I spend 15 grand, I would not be surprised. But uh, in fact, it's already up to 13 grand. And you might think, what on earth am I doing spending all this money? Well, you saw that them nearly got over there and that's only going to increase as we get more prisoners. And speaking of that, that's also why I'm not too bothered about spending this money because we're going to get another 10 prisoners anywhere. Ah, today's beverage is a nice cup of coffee. Cinnamon coffee, actually. There we go. So they are cracking on and building all of this. We do have some positive cash flow anyway, which is good. Obviously, we just did buy... Um, you know what I'm concerned with? Why is there not a sniper in that guard tower? Why is there not a sniper in that guard tower? Staff. One's there. One's there. One's there. No. No. Not acceptable. 
Not acceptable. You. Guard tower. Hmm. Now where are they going? Where are they going now? Armory. Ah. So they're not they're not being they're not being assigned to that guard tower. Do you wanna give me a clue as to why, game? I think I know why. See that? No access. Guard towers block access. Okay. We're going to have to dismantle the guard towers. Move this up and further along. Not what I wanted to do. And then that should give us access. I think that's the reason why. I think. What I'll do then. We'll try it. So we will dismantle this barbed wire. It is a dismantle. You don't get rid of it. You can use it again and again. So that's fine. We will go for a fence and build no fence at all. Because we don't have the money. But we'll wait a couple of seconds to, for this to be sorted. You can see they are uh, wanting to go up there. But not. Why? You go over there. In that guard tower. No. No, they definitely need to go through that. Okay. I think it is a problem with that fencing. What I'll do is I will rearrange this one. Actually, no. I should probably rearrange this one because this is the one that we know is a problem. The other one does work. So let's go over to... Uh, where is it? Demolish walls? No, actually. Objects. Dismantle object. Dismantle all of the bits around there. I am going to keep... I am going to keep the fencing for the time being because I want this still to be staff only. Not that it's a big problem. We have got our first uh, intake of this episode. Let's have a quick look and check our informants. We have... Oh, look, we have gang members. Wow, okay. <laughs> As if we didn't expect that. And yeah, there you go. See, a lot of these traits are just going to be gang members. But Stokel, Fearless, Instigator, all that sort of gear. All that, all that usual stuff. So, that's been removed. Excellent. Fencing. Oh, no, 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 we can't do it that way because then they won't have access to that central bit in the first place and that is the whole issue, isn't it? Demolish walls. Go on, then. Let's see just how quick this goes wrong because they're just going to go boop, 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 in there. <laughs> no, I don't think they will. Uh, it's actually not set staff only anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Um, anyway, so that's been removed. There we go. And we'll see for a start if the sniper is assigned to it. It looks like they are moving. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, we now know... You don't know until you know, and now we do. So we're going to have to extend this, which is not something I wanted to do, but it's something that is, well, needs most and all that. I can build it around here. This isn't a problem because we do have access to the other ones. And this one we probably do, but I'm just going to play it safe. Demolish walls around there like so. I hope that was built. So this is not great. It's not something I really wanted to do, but it's something that we need to do while we, uh, while we know there's an issue. We can get it fixed now. In terms of this um, fencing with the grass, the, the dirt underneath, people have pointed out several times that yes, there is a mod and such that you can get to to change that up. And uh, yeah, I'm aware. Um, I just um, I don't know, haven't got it. <laughs> That's on me. I know. I just haven't done it. Um, okay, there we go. I tend to avoid mods as a rule, not for any great reason. I don't know why. It's just yeah. There you go. Anyway, fencing going around there and then across to there. And we'll go for barbed wire and spend more money. Although, how much have we got? Nine grand. That's enough to finish off this place here. And then we are pretty much relegated to getting more, more gang members. Although, do we have enough to finish this off? I don't know if we do. No, we don't. What I'm going to do then is go to valuation and sell some shares. Give us 23 grand. Not in any... I'm not really in any hurry to... Well, I'm not in any hurry to sell this facility to get to build another one, which is something we haven't done for quite some time. We haven't done it in quite some time. You can sell your old facility and get the money for another one, but we just haven't bothered with it. We just haven't bothered. We prefer the challenge of building it from scratch with the limitations of... Um, the grand system and starting money. So, we are um, doing okay on 21 grand. It looks like danger level is so far okay. Morale is high for the staff there. Going to go over to our needs and just see that. If we can pause it there. We do have a massive recreational need, which we did know about. But at the moment, there's nothing much we can do about it. I am going to get, I guess then, a couple of things in. We need somewhere where they can... Fulfill their recreational needs. This is obviously under control by, I believe it is Blue last time we checked. Blue Gang, yes. And there is 
yeah, they're still the biggest gang. So that we need an overwhelming force. Well, the other gangs need an overwhelming force in order to take that. So they currently don't have it. So they won't do it. Right. So what we'll do then is let's just try something in the canteen here. What I'm going to do is, and this might not work. Oh, it might as well. We'll place that there. We'll place that there. And we'll just see if that would work out. And maybe a pool table. No, maybe. Do you want to put a pool table all the way along there? Um, you don't know until you know, so we're going to place it right along the centre, and I want to see if that actually works. It's unlikely to, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, for the centre here, obviously we do have a couple of rooms that we have not yet built, so we're going to place the security room in there. Security, we're going to designate all that as such. We're going to also designate the centre bit here as solitary. You notice I'm not building it yet because my priority is to get more rooms although i guess we have 19 grand we could probably do that uh, it's currently on work slash free time and you can see they are going in the center here and they are using the pool table so if we check the recreational uh, needs that is being fulfilled and it also means that they shouldn't be able to take that because it is yet yeah, there you go they are actually watching telly there as well yeah i guess it is the um the needs are being fulfilled and that won't be um, taken over just simply because it's well, this won't be taken over because it's not a common room, whereas common room can be taken over. So, yeah, that has... Again, we've we've exploited we've exploited unintended game mechanics, I think it's not unfair to say. But we need to do all we can for this challenge. So, there we are. It's just um, how it is. Let's go ahead and build some model cells, or rather, specifically build one, modern, uh, one model cell, which is going to be the bottom one. Then I will be cloning that up the top there and we will actually build the flooring in as well I think placing the flooring in would be of some benefit simply because then we don't have to worry about the rest of it which includes the concrete tile there and the iron floor there and that should be about right I'll go ahead and designate that as cell as well and then that means the door opens up automatically so that's fine current daily cash flow 1644 and that's going to go right down when I go to programs and to a guard taser certification and it's only 6 in queue because remember it's um, only the standard guards that have them so the the standard guards don't have them there the dog handlers don't have them although I thought they had them let me check extends taser program so regular guards may carry them in defense okay and what does it say before that tasers out arm guards to carry tasers so it's arm guards have tasers and then the standard guards have tasers okay that's fine I thought uh, I just assumed, obviously wrong with it, the, the canine units would have them as well, but they don't. Right, so we are still working on a couple of grants. We have education or reform through education initiative, nowhere near completed, and we probably won't ever get it done. MaxSec infrastructure is pretty much completed, but we need to increase the uh, size of our security force, which we probably won't end up doing anywhere. Inmate nutritional research is halfway on the first bit so we're pretty much only a quarter of the way there this is the mail room not currently built i just want to double check our deployment we have got the scheduler on the go still fighting with it every step of the way but it looks to be working about right so that is fine right so we've got all of the things around there you can see that's <laughs> that card really wants to go there we are going to go over to the quick build and cloning and we're going to clone all the way along, like so. And that is that completed. And the same thing on this side. Danger level is going up. Furious gang leader being punished. Okay. And punishment. That'll then go back down. Sorted. Okay. So. We are going to get all of this done. That will take our capacity up to quite a sizable chunk, actually. Let me go ahead and quick build clone, and we're just going to keep copying up here. And then this cell block will be pretty much done. It won't be 100% complete. Haven't put the flooring in, haven't done security, haven't got the solitary done. Also, we do need some more janitors. Two more janitors, one more gardener. And that'll take us down to 1,424 generic units of currency. Nowhere near enough to continue building in here, but it's certainly enough to it's certainly enough 
to I guess finish off what we've got here not enough to put the flooring in but we've already ordered this stuff there which means another 20 odd prisoners yeah that's pretty good and then we can increase the size of our security force right not too bad look at the state of that <laughs> it's not exactly a hack job but it's also not great either so we haven't done a shakedown in quite some time. Don't intend to do a shakedown for quite some time. In terms of parole, we currently haven't got it, which originally it was going to go there. Or rather, originally originally we didn't have it, and then we decided to put it there. Mail room, we could do a mail room. I don't think there's any reasons why we couldn't do a mail room. We've also got the 90 in the queue, one finished 0% pass on the spiritual guidance. I'm going to stop that entirely. There's just no point in running it. Behavioral therapy, we're not bothering with parole hearing. Tempted. Tempted to build it. But mailroom, I think, is not unreasonable. Actually, checking first needs. Okay. Luxuries. Luxuries are needed. Or wanted. Not needed. They never got to critical. But none of them have any money whatsoever. So even if I put a shop in, they'd never gain money. Well, they never have money to spend on the shop. They never be able to get money because they don't work. And if they did work, it would mean that... Uh, well, if other people were here working that weren't gang members, which there isn't because it's all gang members, it means that they would take it off them, but they can't because they don't exist. So basically what I'm saying is there's no point in the shop. There might be a point, um, as a certain edge case that I don't, I'm not aware of, but... No, we're not going to bother with it for the time being. So, this is going to be a mailroom. This will at least allow some correspondence. Uh, we do need to... Why have I got 16 school desks? Oh, because the game was paused when I bought them. Brilliant. So, sorting table and then a standard table. Quite easy to build, I guess. Place one there and there. And a table oh, there and there. That'll do us for the time being. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to bother... Actually, I will bother lighting that up because... Well... do that. We'll do that. That'll get that sorted and this eventually will have to change probably sooner rather than later. So, we have not got that opening. Why not? Oh, we're still waiting for the guard, contra guard uh, to open that door. Looks like there's been some violence here. Didn't even know what happened. It just happened at some point. Um, that is Mark Pigeon. And what were they doing? Destruction, escape, attempt, attack, staff, Okay then, I guess. It's currently yard time. You can see they're sort of standing around there. This central section with all of the snipers does seem to work out very well. There's a massive intake and there's also a huge amount of danger level going up simply because one of the leaders is once again being punished. Blue again. End punishment, danger level goes down. And there we are. We are now getting some more prisoners. What I am going to do is go to staff and then two guards and go for one, two guards. Take us up to eight because our capacity is 74, but we're going to finish this off anyway. So we should have enough for that. I'll do the same for the other guards. We'll get one, two more arm guards and two more dog handlers, which takes us to six grand, but we are receiving a decent amount of money per day. Checking on the gangs here, we can see, oh, look, they're all gang members. What a surprise. And informants, we don't have any traits that we should really worry about at this stage. Right, a potential CI there as well, so we'll go ahead and recruit uh, Mark, so it would be in experience. Hang on, there we go, recruit informant. That is fine. I'm just checking around the traits. Cursory glance, cursory glance. No, can't see any snitches, although that's not to say that there isn't any. It's not only could I miss them, but also they could be hidden, although generally if they're a hidden snitch, they would have been taken out by now. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. Next episode, then, we will go ahead... Look at this. <laughs> look at the state of that. Next episode, we'll go ahead and we will finish off this cell block. We have all the patrols in there, but we need to put some flooring in. We need to get the security done. And then, finally, this thing here. And then I think I will... I think I will go ahead and build this other common room. It will mean that it's been it'll get taken over eventually by the another gang member or another gang um, another gang gang yeah not gang members of a certain 
colour, so I don't know if blue would take it over. I don't think they can hold too much territory, so it might be green or red. Oh, we might get a purple. No, <laughs> only three gangs. So we'll probably build that and maybe even parole because there's some people in parole. Not that they're going to pass it, you understand. It's just unlikely that they're ever going to pass it. But we might as well uh, might as well go ahead and try it. So a single low quantity, low variety meal, that's almost done. So we'll change it over to three high quantity, high variety, which pretty much shuts down our building because we'll be cut off. But there you go. We're going to save also another eight maximum security prisons. So overall doing quite well and quite happy. Next episode, we'll see if the prison burned down. <laughs> as always, if you haven't enjoyed the video on the series thus far, thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.